Okay, welcome to your first lesson back after the half term. Uh, make sure you've got a pen and paper ready to take notes as we go through the video. Remember, you can rewind and listen again if you need to. Um, there will be places where you're asked to pause the video and have a go at an activity. Please make sure you take a picture of your work and email it to your teacher at the end, please. Here are your starter questions. If you could pause the video, please, and have a go at these questions. Press play when you're ready to see if you got those right. Let's see how we got on with those then. Okay, so um, Tom has 12 different cards. He gives one to Harry and one card to Lewis. How many different ways can he do this? Well, he's got 12 cards to start with, so he uh, has a choice of 12 cards to give to um, Harry. When he's given that, he's only got 11 cards left to give to Lewis. So that uh, would be a 12 by 11, 11 sample space diagram, if you think about it. So there'd be 132 different ways. Okay. Um, spinner has three section, uh, sectors X, uh, Y, and uh, Z. Okay. Remember, they all have to add up to a whole one, so 1.00. So we're going to add the 0 0.38 and the 0 0.24 together and take those away from one, and you're left with 0 0.38. Uh, remember, on a tree diagram each branch needs to add up to a whole one so if this is two out of three we need to add one out of three to make it up to three out of three so all the probabilities together probability that uh, both dice land on more than two we need to go more than two times with more than two so two over three times two over three to get four over nine top times top bottom times bottom and the last one there everything that's shaded is outside the a and the b so we don't want a and we don't want b so it's not a and not b all right today's lesson is a review of the probability we've done before we had a break for half term because um we have still got the test to do so we need to do a revision of the things we've done Okay, so we're just going to look at frequency trees, Venn diagrams and tree diagrams, stuff we've done to revise that so we uh, are ready for our test. Okay, so probability, uh, you've already seen this before, but as a reminder, um, it's used in jobs like weather forecasting or financial uh, analysts, so when you're predicting uh, the change, okay, in stuff. So first of all then, frequency trees, let's have a recap on how we would do those. So uh, we've got one here, 30 students were surveyed about their hair. There were 14 male students and 16 male students. Eight male students had blonde hair. Nine female students had blonde hair. How many students didn't have blonde hair? And a frequency tree, remember, starts with a whole population and we split it into subpopulations. So in case this one, we've got males and females. And it tells in the question, there was 14 male students and 16 female students, so we can add those straight away. Then we're bothered about whether they've got blonde hair or not blonde hair. So we've got, um, from the males, eight male students had blonde hair. And if there's 14 male students all together, eight of them had blonde, this number here is what we're going to add to eight to make it up to 14, because we can't lose those students. Then we've got to split the female, they've either got blonde hair or they don't. And we know nine female students had the blonde hair. Okay, and we work out the last number by saying, what do we add to nine to make it up to 16? So it would be seven. And then we can answer the question, how many male students didn't have blonde hair? So a male student that didn't have blonde hair is six. Okay, here's one for you to have a go at, please. Could you pause the video, have a go at answering this question and press play when you're ready to check if you got that right. Right, let's go through this then and see how we got it. So we've got 100 year 10 students who asked if they studied drama. So we're starting with our 100 students. Um, again, we've got um, information about male and females and um, whether they studied drama or they didn't study drama okay so our frequency tree can be set out like this and then we can add the information we've got we've got 27 male students that studied drama so that's male that studied drama and 47 students in total studied drama so between this one and this one they have to total up to 47 which makes this one an extra 20 there were 55 females altogether, so we can add that. 
and we've got to work out these missing ones now. So how many male students didn't study drama is the one we eventually want. And then we've got a probability question. So we first of all, we can work out this one here. So what do we add to 20 to make it up to 55? Okay, we've done this one. So we can work this one out. So we've got 100 males to start with. 55 were female, got from the question. So this is here, is whatever you add to 55 to make it up to 100. Okay, so now we've got all the information to work them out. Which one am I going to do next? This one. So whatever we add 27 to make it up to 45, missing 18. And this one, whatever we add 20 to make it up to 55, which is 35. Okay, can you mark that and see if you got it right, please? Okay, next one then. How many male students didn't study drama? You've got to go down the male and not drama. So that's why it's 18. And the last one, if you pick a random student, what is the probability that they are female who doesn't study drama? Okay, and it's a probability. So it needs to be a fraction, decimal or percentage. So that would be 35 out of the original population, which is 100. Okay, you can... Uh, write it as a percentage or a decimal, so 0 0.35 or 35%, but 35 over 100 or an equivalent fraction is fine. Okay, right, here's a bit more of a complicated exam question for you to do, please. Um, obviously, you're not given the scaffolding, you need to do your own. So if you could pause the video, have a go at this one and press play when you're ready to see if you've got that correct, please. Okay, let's have a go and see how you got on with that. So, 80 year 12 students each study one of the sciences. So, 80 students. 47 of these students are girls. 17 <coughs> girls study biology. And 11 boys study physics. And 34 students study chemistry. Okay, so... That means 34 complete students study chemistry, so we don't need that one yet. We can just work out some other information. So first of all, we can work out the total number of boys because we know there's 47 girls. There must be 33 boys because that makes it up to 80. Okay, so we've got... The physics as 10 because altogether 21 students study physics. So if we've got 11 here, this must mean we need another 10 to make it up to the 21. Okay, which means we can work out the middle one here, because 17 plus 10, which give you 27, what do we add to 27 to make it up to 47? We can now use the fact that there are uh, 34 students that study chemistry. We've got 20 here already, which means we must have another 14. And then we're just working out the missing number by what do we add to these two to make it up to 33. Can you check you got that right, please? Okay. Answering the question then, what fractions are the students or girls that study chemistry? So girls study chemistry is 20 and write it as a fraction. We've got to write it as 20 out of 80 or anything equivalent. It could go all the way down to one quarter. So that's frequency trees. We've now got to go on to Venn diagrams and notation. So remember we've got A, U, B, so that's a union. That's when it's A or B. We've got A intersection B, so that's A and B when they both happen together. And we've got A complement, which is when it's not A. Okay, so describe and total the shaded area. Okay, so first of all, the shaded area, when you uh, described it, would be looking at the probability of just A happening, because it's just the A that circled, and the total would be 8, because we'd add the 5 and the 3 together. Okay, this one then. Um, so everything but the A has happened, so everything outside of the A is shaded, which means we've got not A. And the numbers there, that would be the 8 and the 6, which would total 14. Okay, 
this is just like the one before we've got everything outside of the b shaded so it's not b so b complement and we've got the five and the six to add together to make 11. okay i would like you to do the same for these please could you pause the video and press play when you're ready to check those let's see how we got on with those Okay, so just the B circle and the 8 and 3 added together. Everything but the C circle, so it's not C and it's 14. E and F both happen there in the middle, so it's E intersection F and it's just a 3. Got to add all those three numbers together, the 5, the 3 and the 8 to get 16. And both have circled, so it's one or the other. This one then, uh, we've got all of I or anything that's not J so it's an or so I or not J and we're adding the 5, 3 and the 6 to get together to get 14 and this is everything outside of the K and the L so it's not K and not L and it's just the 6 okay another one for you to have a go at please you're answering these questions about 50 students if you can pause the video and press play when you're ready to check your answers Okay, let's have a go. So probability of um, it being in D, so we've got to add both numbers in the D circle together, which is the 20 and the 5, to get 25, over the 50 students altogether. So 25 out of 50, which goes all the way down to um, 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. Probability that it's not A, that's everything outside of the A circle, so just the 5 and the 15. So you get 20 over 50, which would go down to 0.4. Probability that it would be A or D, that's anything in the A or D circle. So 10, add 20, add 5 to get 35. Out of 50, so 0.7. And the last one, it's got to be in the A and the D. It's both of them. It's only the 20 in the middle. So that would be 20 out of 50 to get 0.4. Can you make sure that's marked, please? Right, lastly, tree diagrams. So we've got Rebecca has nine coloured beads in a bag, so we know the denominators would be nine. Four of the beads are black and the rest are green. Uh, she removes a bead at random from the bag and notes the colour before replacing it. So it's replaced so the denominators aren't affected and she chooses a second bead. So a tree diagram, we're going to have our first bead and our second bead, okay? Uh, or our first choice and our second word, and we can only have black or green. Okay, so there are nine coloured beads, so the denominators will be nine, and four of those were black and the rest were green. So if there's nine altogether, four are black, that means five must be green. And our second choice would be the same probabilities because our um, bead is put back. So we now need to show all the outcomes. So we could go across the top. Remember, you multiply across the branches. So when you multiply fractions, it's top times top, bottom times bottom. Remember, these set of branches should always add up to a whole one. So 4 over 9 and 5 over 9 makes 9 over 9. So that's how we know it's right. All these probabilities should then add up to 81 over 81. So you can always do a quick check. So that would be the solution for A. Draw the tree diagram showing all possible outcomes. Part B, calculate the probability that Rebecca chooses two green beans, so beads, so we'd have to go green, green, so we're multiplying the 5 over 9 times the 5 over 9 to get 25 over 81, and then um, part I, and then I, I, a black followed by a green, we need to go black followed by green, so that's 4 over 9 times 5 over 9 to get 20 over 81. Here's one for you to do, it's a past GCSE question, if you could pause the video please and have a go. Okay, let's see how we did with that one then. So, um, filling it out, we've got uh, a spinner that's got five sections, so that's given us the denominator. Okay, and it's spun and it either shows an even number, uh, only when it's got an even number do we need to carry it on because it says if the spinner is even the dice is thrown so if it's odd it's not continued to be thrown okay so the tree diagram only needs it coming from the even okay and a dice remember is out of 
six possible things, okay? Um, and it would either, and it's a dice that's got, oh, the cursor stop, so it's got five red faces, so that's why we've got red, five out of six, and one green face, so one out of six. So that's part A. Work out the probability of getting an even number and a colour green. So we'd have to do even times green. So 205 times 1 over 6 to get 2 over 30 or 1 15th if you're going to simplify it down. So two marks for A, two marks for B. Okay, here's one for you to have a go. That's got decimals. If you could pause the video, have a go and press play when you're ready to see if that's correct, please. Okay, let's check how we got with that then. So we've got the first set of lights, that she either stops or she doesn't stop. And it tells us 0 0.3, if each branch adds up to an old one, that means this one has got to be... Oh, okay, we're going to do it like that. And the second one is 0 0.2, and it tells us that. So that's all the information we get from the question. Now we can fill the rest in. So we know um, that... Um, We've got 0 0.3 here, so this one adds up to whatever we add to 0 0.3 to make it up to a whole one. Okay, so that would be 0 0.7, and this would be 0 0.8 to make it up to a whole one. There we go, sorry about all the animation on that one, that came out a bit funny. So the next one then, question is probability... Um, Top times top, so we've got the 0 0.3 times 0 0.2. Okay, so we just multiply along all of these branches to get them all. And then we can answer the question, what is the probability that she has to stop exactly once? So she could either stop and then doesn't stop, or she doesn't stop and then stop. So it's the middle two branches. And you would then have to add those two decimals together. So 0 0.24, add 0 0.14 to get 0 0.38. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. Uh, if you could take a picture of your work, please, red, amber, green, your work, and uh, email it to your teacher, please. Thank you very much.